power to destroy myself for this one. Gladly. I would have eaten garbage. I would have slit my own wrists open. Under the right circumstances. I mean, if she said, Hey Phil, why don't you slit your own wrists open? I mean, come on. But seriously, I would. We clicked. We connected on so many things. Right from the bat. We talked about God for three hours once. I don't know what good it did, but that intensity. And the first time we went bed, I didn't even touch her. I didn't want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I played it really casually. Because, well, I've had some rough experiences in the past. I'm the first to admit. But after a few weeks, I could feel we were right there. So I laid it down. I told her everything I wanted to say. And she says to me, she says, no one should ever need another person that badly. Can you believe that? No one should ever. What is that? Is that something you heard from TV? I dumped my heart out on the table and you gave me something from Joyce Doctor fucking brothers. Need. Need. I'm saying I love you. Is that so bad? Is that not allowed anymore? So what if I need her? Is that so bad? Alright, crucify me. I needed her. I don't want to be by myself. I'm by myself. I'm going out of my mind. I am. I sit there thinking, forget it. I can't get through the next 10 seconds. I can't stand it. But I do. Somehow, I get through the next 10 seconds. But I have to do it all over again. Because they just keep coming. These seconds just floating by while I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't know what. A car wreck. A nuclear war or something. It sounds awful, but at least there'd be an instant where I knew I was alive. Because I look in the mirror and I can't believe I'm really there. I can't believe that's me. It's like my body is the size of what? The Statue of Liberty, and I'm down in one of the legs. This ginormous, hairy leg. I'm scrapping around my own foot like tiny feeters. I don't know who I am or where I'm going. I just wish I hadn't been 